so the third segment is related to ec2 instance storage uh, first of all we have EBS vo volumes available then we have EFS then we have AMIs and the fourth one is AWS image builder so let's start with the first one the first one is elastic block store that is EBS these are the network drives that can be attached to one instance at a time that are specific to availability zones and the fourth one is these are like uh, you only get built for your uh, provisioned capacity that whatever you use you will be built for that and as you can see in this image e us is one a is our uh, like az in which we are using our uh, ebs volumes so first one is linked to this one and these two are linked to that much of ec2 instance so we have different type of EC2 instance available and we can attach different EBS drives within that. And then we have, uh, we will be having a hands-on session on EBS volumes, how to create volumes, how to attach these volumes and how to see the instance storage details. So whenever we have an instance, we have a storage drive attached to it so as you can see I just clicked on storage and its root device type is EBS and as you can see this is the volume ID its total space it's 8 gigabytes and it is attached to this instance and our like tutorial is about EBS volume so when I go to elastic block store and I click on volumes then you can see our volume ID that was showing there is also shown here it is attached to our instance when I click it it will show its properties that is volume ID is this it's currently in use its total space is this its type is dp2 and volume status if there is any problem it will show here right now it is okay it is encrypted or not that will be shown here and one thing that you can see here is it is specific to availability zone that is US East 1C how I can see this I can go on instances and this is my instance which uh, this is attached when I click on networking and I keep on scrolling down and until I can find my availability zone here we go as you can see this here is US East 1C so each of the storage drive that is attached to our instance is specific to the availability zone so let's go to instances and we will see uh, let's go to the volumes and we will see how we can create a volume uh, first of all we have to choose what type of volume we want to use here we can use general purpose ssd provision iops code then magnetics we are doing using first one and i gonna use the 8 gbs of memory so here we go here i can select this either 1a 1c which of the availability zone so i gonna select my 1c because our instance was in 1c so we will be attaching this volume with that so we are not going to encrypt it if i want to tag i can this one is name it is uh, second abs volume okay so i click on create and as you can see just within one click we have successfully created eight gigabytes of volume and when we click on refresh it will show that here you can see our next volume is here if i click on here it will show all the details and right now it is not attached to any of the instances so i click on here i click this and i go and i click on attach volume so when i go to attach volume it will show 
the availability zone in which it's created and all of the instances that lie within this availability zone will be shown here as you can see when i click here it, it goes on fetching my instance list so my this instance whose name is my second instance that is currently right in running state i click on this instance and i click on attach volume so this volume will be attached to our instance now to check whether it's attached or not i will go on instances and i will click on second instance and here i can go on checking its storage here and uh, here here we go i can see uh, two of the volumes are attached for first this one was attached and this is our recent attached volume and uh, when i go to instances and i go to volumes again we can just create a new volume and right now i'm going to create a volume of same 8 gigabytes of memory and but this time i gonna uh, create this in different availabilities on like 1b so i click on create and let me show you this is created so when i click on here and i click on attach volume also it's here when i click on attach volume uh, let it refresh yeah here we go so when we go on attach volume so it will show the availability zone and when i click here as you see there are no matching or running uh, instances in this availability zone so that was the point that we have to know so when i click on here the next thing we can see we can delete this volume from here if it is not attached to any instance we can just delete it okay so these two uh, are just attached to our instances we don't like go for deleting them from volumes we just have to terminate this instance so as you can see it will delete my EBS volumes too I will say yes it will first terminate my instance uh, when it is on sh shutdown state so let's wait for it to completely shut down so that the status of the instance is changed to terminated okay so there, here we go we got a message of successfully terminated this instance id when i click on refresh i see this one is still on shutting down state so let's a bit or oh, okay it's refreshed now it's terminated so when i go to volumes i can see these two volumes are not attached yeah this volume that was attached that's went away so this one is this so as you can see when i go on here no no of the instances available because we have deleted that instance so that's 